Here we are on Overa Street on Salito Lindo restaurant right here. It's a very beautiful and delicious restaurant. Here we have a couple of people here. What is your name here? Henry. Henry. Nice to meet you, Henry. Same here. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Nice to meet you. Okay. Well, um, we're here to uh, represent the, the uh, Latin America here, the Economic Forum. And uh, we're here to find out what people think about, you know, what, what kind of questions uh, would you ask the, the, the leaders of Latin America? Um, I think I would, I would ask um, to do whatever they can to work out a solution to uh, immigration because it's a very uh, polarizing issue. And, uh, you know, I think that between the United States and the rest of the Latin American countries, we should be able to work something out um, right. okay. because uh, basically we're in this together, you know. Yes. So uh, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's great. That's great. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Is that something that you've always, you know, had an interest, you know, like you've always kind of thought about? Well, I was born in this area, so I have a, a kinship with all, you know, Latin Americans. So I speak right. Spanish, I speak Italian. Really? Uh, and, yeah, I'm from this area, so okay. I think it's something we need to work out. Right, okay. Great. That's great. <laughs> Thanks. That's wonderful. <laughs> okay, well. That's it? Thank you very much. <laughs> thank yeah. you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? Great. I'm doing great. Okay. Well, we're here on Alvera Street. We're at the Salito Lindo Cafe here. Exactly. And just uh, met... Uh, what is your name here? My name's Dan. Dan. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, Dan. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Well, here's my question here today. Okay, we're here um, to represent Latin America here for the World Economic Forum. And we had a question here, which mm -hmm. is... If you had one question to ask a Latin American leader, what would that question be? The one question I have to ask is, we do a lot for, uh, down in that area, we right. do a lot for their countries. What do their countries bring to us here in the United States and their people as they immigrate? How can they help assimilate a little bit more? Um, and just, you know, what can they do as leaders to help that process going forward? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a very, very good question, actually. Yeah, because we spend so much money in, in, in that area, and, and, you know, all immigration costs the United States so much money, and it's they need to come back with a program. You know, when the immigrants come over, it's great. They work hard. They do this. But, you know, come up with a plan to help and assimilate a little better would be my, my question. Great. That's a very, that, that, that is a good, good question. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? I'm fine. Great, great. When, what is your name? My name is Paulina, but I go by Ardiana sometimes too. So. Ardiana, yeah. it's a beautiful name. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, well, we're, you know, we're here for the World Economic Forum here today, and we're representing Latin America. Yes. And we are curious about something. We're, we're asking people, you know, if there was a Latin leader walking across the street right now, and you ran into him, what, what one question would you ask him? Well, now that I think about it, um, their government is kind of, it's, it's more like about them. And I would think, like, why not worry about your people more? Um, plus, like, poverty and stuff, it's going around the world. And I think, um, like, Mexico, right? Is what, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it goes around more in there, too, I would think. So, right. I, I, I worry about a lot of poor people everywhere, especially here in California. But I think about Mexico, too, because of their government. They, they don't really work yes. as a team and stuff, so. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, that definitely is a concern that, you know, I mean, it's a worldwide concern that we've had for many, you know, yes. for many years. So and, yeah. we're, and we're going through our own problems, too. And um, I think, I don't know, I think we help, we, we always help other countries, but uh, sometimes we don't worry about ourselves, too. I don't know. I just worry about everyone. I wish I could help everyone, actually, but I can't. Mm. So, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. And very, it, that is a very legit concern. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. I don't really know too much. I'm I am Hispanic myself, but I wasn't born in Mexico. So oh. my family, my older family members were, and so, oh. so yeah. Okay. Um, but I think it's important since it's my my ancestors and stuff are from there. So I don't know. Yeah. I repeat a lot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, okay, okay we're rolling. Okay. Um, yeah, for the president of Mexico and or any of the South American countries, 
that are involved in the drug trade, why do you keep sending your drugs here? Why do you keep allowing your drugs to come here? On the one side, you say you're doing something about it, but on the other side, you allow the cartels to exist. So why don't you just get rid of the cartels or get out of office? That's it. That's, that, that's a very, very, very good point there. That's a very good point that you have there. Oh, thank absolutely, you. absolutely. Thank you very much. I'm definitely concerned. I mean, we have drug shootings, drug cartels across the border. All of your drug gangs that are in Mexico and South America have um, officers and members here in the U.S., especially California, especially in L.A. and San Diego County. So, you know, we have to do something about it by not making it lucrative for them to come here, stop buying the drugs. L.A., especially California in the U.S., has the biggest drug habit probably anywhere in the U.S. We need to do something about that. We really need to do something about that. What we have now is not enough. Yes. That definitely is. Yes, I agree with you. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have to say. Second one. Whenever you're ready. Why is Mexican food so good? We love Mexican food, we love ethnic food, we love indigenous food, and we have a lot of really good Mexican food restaurants here in L.A., especially right here at Overa Street. I come here a lot, I eat the food a lot. Why is it so good? What ingredients are you using that the other Mexican restaurants like El Cholo's are not using? That's all I have to say. <laughs> Tell me, why did it take so long for Cesar Chavez to get his own holiday? I think he should have had one a long time ago. I know he only fought for workers' rights in the uh, farm belt of California, especially in the um, El Centro and San Joaquin Valley, Bakersfield, etc. But why did it take so long for him to be recognized? I know he didn't fight for civil rights, but he still deserved his own holiday. Why can't we all get along? Be, be as one people should be, you know, instead of being uh, like everyone else, you know. Why can't we just choose to be like each individual? And uh, I'm kind of nervous right now. You know? <laughs> I, I, me too. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, yeah. so we got it. You guys have permission to be. I would have to ask the heads of these nations, what are you afraid of holding your people back? Let them be free to do what they want in their life because you only get one. Right. Yeah. Great. That's it. That's great. Yeah. That's a, that's a very good point there. Thank you. It is. Thank you. I just thought it up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and that's it. The, 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 the uh, dictatorship of it all is mm -hmm. unnecessary. Right. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. That's great, actually. That that really is great. I mean, that definitely is something that, you know, we'd all be wondering. So, yeah, that's great. Okay. So, okay. You have any other things that you might want to ask a leader, you know? He was yeah. standing right here. You know, what would you want to what, what, what you wanna ask? That was, that was it. Great. I have to come over, too. <laughs> okay. We're done. Great, great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, if, if, if you can ask a Latin American leader one question, what question would that be? The tourism and the fact that it's so dangerous to go down there to visit their country. You know, you want the money, you want the income of tourists, but you don't protect the people that come there. Right. And it's right. dangerous. Right. I mean, it's, you can't go out after dark because you're afraid that you're going to get, you know, raped, killed, murdered, robbed and whatnot. So why do you allow that to happen knowing it happens? Right. They know it's happening, so why do they allow it to happen? Wouldn't, wouldn't you want to come to America and feel safe? Right. Same way? I mean, it works both ways. Right. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> right. Anyways, that, I just have a problem with that. Right. Okay. Yeah. If you ran into a Latin American leader today, what question would you ask him? It could be any, like any question that you'd like to ask him. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, I will ask them to force um, students to, you know, go to school and finish school because that's really important. That that's what I will ask. Oh. Okay. You know, that's it. <laughs> Got it. I mean, education really it is important. It's a it very is. pivotal part of our society, and it, it is important. So. It is important because if you don't have education, you go nowhere. You are nobody. So it is. It is an issue, and it's really important. That's it. Definitely Thank you. Is. Thank you. you.
So, if you would ask a Latin American leader one, one question, what question would that be? Uh, why would the why why don't they let the immigrants like be here in, in LA without the the migrant community? Okay, that, that's great. That's a very I mean that's a concern we all have. You know, I mean that, that's a good question. Yeah. Great. Okay. So. Uh, Okay. Would you like to expand on that a little more? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How could they become better? Very easy. How can they become better? How can they make their country better? In other words. How can they make their country better? Yeah. I, like, that's that's good. Yeah. Easy as that. Yeah, actually, yeah. What question would you ask a Latin American leader? So my question would be um, whether he or she, the, the leader, would what kind of social and political programs would he try to he or she provide for um, the poorest of his uh, 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 residents mm -hmm. or citizens in his country, in right. his or her country, especially regarding around um, the respecting of different nationalities um, right. in countries that have indigenous and other ethnic population, right. and uh, what is also a sustainable um, right. economic and social program for, for, for the poorest people. Right, okay. Yeah, great. That's, that's a very good question. That really is. I mean, that's a major concern that we have today. Yeah. yeah. Thank that's you. great. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, what, what are they going to do about climate change and mm, about um, climate change. the environmental degradation that is leaving, um, you know, women and indigenous people the most vulnerable to all the, the disasters that are happening around the world. Right. So I think um, I really like to know what's the, the, the leadership that they're going to take both internationally and within their own country right. around um, addressing climate change and climate justice issues. Right. That's a very, that's a very interesting one. Mm -hmm. That really is. Yes. Yeah. Yes? Oh yes. What I would ask it's, well, you know, we're a multicultural, you know, state, you know, we're um, independent, and everybody said the United States is the best, but, you know, if you come over here, please learn how to speak English, because it's not fair to you or your family or your kids, and, and not fair to us, because, you know, like, you know, I can't understand what they're saying, like, we're listening to their music, right, well, I can groove to it, but I don't, I don't understand, like, they might be talking about, you know, doing all kinds of illegal stuff, I don't know what's going on, but, just you know, the main important thing is just teach your kids English. That's the best thing you can do. Or learn your English yourself. Because if you don't, <laughs> then you don't belong here. No, I'm saying no. I don't want to make it sound. Uh, I don't want to make it sound bad, guys. But you know, you know, I'm not from out here. You know, I'm from a different state, country, or whatever. But you know, at least I know English. I know Spanish, and I know a couple of other. Um, I know uh, Ebonics. You know, you know the black people know Ebonics. So. I took you bonnets down real early, so yeah, so before you come to multicultural state, just remember, especially California. Because now um Arnold's out of there. Now it's what, Jim Brown or Mr. Brown? So now he's really strict policies now. So you can't come over here and work for free. So if you don't know English, you know, you might as well say bye-bye, go back to where you belong, and um learn English there and then come back. We give you a chance though. Thank you, California State. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. What would you ask a Latin American leader? The American leader, Obama? Yeah. I would ask him La to uh, to make uh, the Social Security benefits better for the the, uh, the lower uh, economy in the United States. Okay. Because the, the, the economy right now is struggling. The gas right. prices are too high. Right. I mean, it's already like... Like what, $5 for a gallon? Right. right, right. Exactly. And, okay. and all of our oil is coming from Iraq and these other countries. Right. And I just understand that right. uh, Japan just had an earthquake and a tsunami. And I understand that. Our country is helping out theirs, but what about our country? Right. What are they doing for 99 States of America? Right. That's what I want to ask. So is there any possible way that our president can help out our own country first? Right. Than the others. Right. So okay. if, if, if that would be good, I mean, if Obama can do that, 
that would be wonderful if you can help out their own country first. Actually, you know what? I'm so sorry to interrupt you and then just like cut this all up and everything. But, but no, I'm sorry. The question was, uh, what would you ask a Latin American leader? A oh, Latin American Mexican, leader? From Mexico, from Chile. Okay. What's their name? I mean, I don't know. The leaders. Just, just any of the leaders and anyone that, that you know, from... Okay, uh, give me from, a, a leader's from, name. Uh, Colombia or from... Okay, you know their name? I don't know. Like, the president of Mexico, Brazil, Chile. I know, I know their name. Just a gen, just a gener, gener, generic uh, okay. the name. Let's just, okay. let's just say. <laughs> Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. Okay. Okay, hi, I'm Brazil. This is John Wilson from the American United States. I was just wondering about uh, what can you do for your country, what else ours, if, if there's any possible way that, you know, uh, if you need any, any food or supplies in my country or anything like that to help out yours, right. I would appreciate it. You know, right. uh, that that would be wonderful and great it would be, you know, I mean, just so we can supply water and food over to your country. Right. That'd be more than helpful for our country, you know. Right. You know, Obama should be helping out your country over in Brazil. Right. Yeah. And I, I'll be thinking that that'd be more grateful than anything it would be. Right. So, if our country can do that, and help out you guys, you know, supply oil, food, or clothing, diapers, or blankets right. to help you guys out, that'd be more wonderful than anything it would be. Right. It would be. Right. So, do you got anything on that, ma'am? I mean, I, I mean, actually, you're you're right on the spot there. I mean, that's, 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 a, that's a very important, uh, and crucial. You know, that's a very important um, a statement. Know, concern. It, it definitely is. Yeah. Do you it think you get any concern that it'd be more helpful for the country that our country can help out? <laughs> well, let's say uh, you have anything to ex expand on that. Uh, or, expand on that. I just said that you know it'd just be wonderful that if our government. Right. Can help out too, because right. Arnold Schwarzenegger, come on, I support this government for this government anyway. He should be an actor instead, right. doing Terminator. You know, if he can just like push co commerce to helping out, you know, the other countries, right. that'd be better. It really would be. Right. You know, definitely. That, 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 definitely. definitely. I mean, that's that's an ongoing concern of you know of, of most people in the world. Exactly. Definitely is. It, it's definitely. Yes. definitely yes. A most uh, question of people in the world, you know. Right. Our government is pissed for I mean, he's, he's an actor. He's right. staying from this country, you right. know. And so that's it. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We Wilson. appreciate Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> what would you ask our Latin American leaders? Uh, why does Nike's ass are colorful? <laughs> That's, I mean, that definitely is a very, very beautiful blanket. Yeah, you like it? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. the colors are extraordinary. Oh, can he explain why they're colorful? You don't know? <laughs> <No>? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, or <laughs> what else? I don't know, anything, is there something that concerns you, regard, you know, uh, that, that you'd love to just, just ask him, you know? Just, you know, what? Uh, why you get uh, just one beautiful woman like her? Here, downtown. <laughs> You're the only one that I just see. There's no more. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's all. <laughs> all right. Okay. And all over the world to help. I just want America to do what we gotta do to help everybody all over the world to do what we gotta do to survive in this world. Okay. That's one. That's one. Great. Right. You didn't get it. Okay, so I so, just want what, what, America and the whole other, other, and the rest of the world to do all we can do to live together and enjoy life as much as we can while we're here. Great, great. So there's a concern of harmony there. I don't know nothing what you're talking about. Big language. I'm talking <laughs> about, I'm talking yeah, about right. small language right now. We Americans and we all over the world. Wherever we go, we all we got in this world. Right. We got to do what we got to do to survive in this country. And all over, and other places in the world. Right. We all we got. We got to learn to stick together. Your name. Is. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Coming We're from uh, America. Okay. This is this is this is American, Afro-American brother, speaking to Americans 
from, I mean, whatever Obama can do to save us from what we going through in life, it should be more than this. Our money came by love. It ain't about money. It's about Americans and all over the world. All of us sticking together as one. We got to help each other in this world. We all we got. So, what question would you ask the Latin, Latin American leader today? Well, I would ask um, the people of Brazil, your Brazilian ethanol is so good for your cars and stuff like that. And what are you doing to help lower the tariffs on Brazilian ethanol to countries like America or other countries that are trying to get away from um, carbon-based fuels and use more ethanol? I know that tariff that America is putting on your ethanol makes it so you can't have ethanol in the U.S. What are you doing to help make ethanol more available to people around the world? Okay, yeah. That's great. That is great. Yeah. Uh, I would ask about the Brazilian rainforest. Now you have your rainforest that, you're, that the world needs for all its environmental effects and oxygen around the planet and stuff like that. I would ask, now I understand your need to develop your country and develop more of the inland, but how can you balance your country's desire to develop your economy and develop inland and the forest and yet keep the environment safe for the rest of the people on the planet?